What's up guys, Chase fan number 9 here, and I got some news out of the Cup Series camp for um, NASCAR. Um, Brendan Gaughan has announced that he will retire from NASCAR competition altogether after um, 2020. Um, I'm going to give you guys my quick thoughts and opinions on uh, Brendan Gaughan before I get into the um, article I have. Um... I actually like Brendan Gunn. Um, he was a pretty cool guy. He looked like, excuse me, the type of guy to be around. Um, he's had a very interesting career. He ran in trucks. 2003 was argu arguably his best year. He had a shot to win it, but um, came up short after that crash in Miami. He hasn't been the same since. The only good stuff that's happened since then was his um, win at Road America, which was a long, which was a huge win for him in that 62 car. Who else remembers that 62 car? Well, me, I sure haven't. I think he ran it up until 2017 is when he's, um, after that he stopped um, racing full time. I think it was 2017. I think I'm right on that. Um, let's see. Um, <coughs> He also won at Kentucky in a very cool paint scheme. Um, it was like a blue, white, and red. Um, it, it it was pretty cool though. So yeah. But after that, he hasn't won won. He hasn't won a race since then. Um. Um. But as of now, um, he did join one team to run all four play tracks. Um, it was. The First it was the seventy five team of seventy five team of Beard Oil Motorsports. They're that one team that you see about mid pack or at the back or up at the front. It's that black car. Um well eventually they changed to the number sixty two in twenty eighteen um for Brendan Gaughan. Um he ran I think he ran all four plate tracks last year, twenty eighteen this year. And I don't think he missed any. If if he did I I could be wrong, so I I do apologize. But yeah, um, I do not have any Brendan Gunn diecast in my collection, unfortunately. Damn it. But oh well. Um, he did run in trucks full time, I believe. However, in the years after two thousand three, but I don't think he had success trying to find victory. But um, he tried though, so yeah. Do I think Brendan Gunn could have been a NASCAR champion? In any of NASCAR's top three series? Based on how you say it, yes. It actually, as a matter of fact, he does actually have a full-time cup campaign. I believe it was 2004. He drove for Roger Penske that year. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, um, wow. Lots of drivers retiring after, before the Gen 7 car comes. But anyways, um, here is what he said on, well, here's what, here's what the article says. I'll put a link to the article down in the description. So yeah, but anyway, but before I get into that, um, that was my full opinion on Brendan Gunn. Um, he's gained several top tens. However, forgot to mention several top tens with the team. They weren't like race winning top 10 finishes, but they were good enough for me. His most recent was um, Talladega back in April. And we all remember him for that flip. Oh my gosh, that was a huge flip. Hope y'all got a kick out of that. But anyways, yeah. But anyways, um, here's what the article says. I'll put a link to the article down in the description so you guys can go take a look. But here's what it says. NASCAR driver Brendan Gunn announced on Sirius XM NASCAR radio on Tuesday morning that he will retire from NASCAR competition after 2020. Gunn has tentative plans to compete in all four 2020 Super Speedway races between Daytona and Talladega for Beard Oil Motorsports. Gunn said, I'll be back at Daytona for sure and try to run all four of them. They're great people. I love them to death, said Gunn on Sirius XM. The new Cup Series car is expected to make its debut in 2021, but Gunn is not interested in running it. I don't plan on going to the new car. I'll probably do f 
those four restricted plate races for them and then they're going to have to find some a little bit younger and a little bit more spree to put in their race car said goth yeah it's a short article so yeah but yeah yeah i'm gonna miss brendan gone um i do wish him the best in those four plate races i can see that he's one of few drivers that um don't want are not interested um you know if i had a guess I know this may sound controversial, but if I had to guess who should go in that car, one option that comes to mind is, hmm, let's see. We all know Brendan Gaughan's been in the 62, but who could drive it? Hmm. I don't know. Well, remember when Brendan Jones drove for Richard Childress? He could be a, it's a pretty obvious option. I mean, he drove for Richard Childress for two years or three years, actually. But I think Jones is better off in the Toyota, but if plans change, who knows? Or maybe Daniel Hemrick could get that ride. But I don't think Hem it would be weird to see Hemrick driving for a small team like Beard Oil. But Beard Oil, those guys, they're a good team. I have nothing against them inside their Chevrolet. So, yeah. Yeah, there's so many options out there. Um, Brandon G Jones, that was just... That was just one option. I'm not saying I should recommend, but yeah. And also, um, another thing for those that don't know, um, um, his father Michael Gon is the one that, well, he and Brandon Gon they both run the whole um South Point Hotel and Casino operation things. I did go to Las Vegas in 2015. I did see the South Point Hotel, and it's pretty. And I guess that if I ever go there I'm, there's a chance i might run into brendan gone and besides he is from las vegas so <coughs> so yeah and you're probably gonna ask me guys is brendan gone considered a paid driver to be honest yes but he got he's got talent so yeah i feel like he's had potential i just think he he just wasn't there but but I like him though, so yeah. But I don't think Brandon Gunn will be one of my top favorites, so yeah. I'm gonna miss him. I wish him the best in the four plate races. Um, so yeah. But anyways, um that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan number nine here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. <coughs> and with that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. And one more thing, um, since this is a video about Brendan Gaughan, a fitting picture for the thumbnail for the thumbnail will be a picture of his flip from Talladega two months ago. So yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Alright. Bye bye.